Mach mal Frist Freundschaft. Äh, Frist. Ja, Frist. Frist. Ja. Frist. Du frisst Muffeln. <lacht> Ehrlich? Ja. Und die sechste. Hallo Capoeira, willkommen Hi. zu The Capoeira Guide. We are back from the Middle East, the Arabic world. We have been in Abu Dhabi, then Dubai and Oman. We had a great, great time. And uh, Onsia, what do you think? How, how was it? Yeah, we have been to the Capoeira Festival in Abu Dhabi of Mestre Kashias. Mm -hmm. And I think it was um, really nice. They had a really good energy. People were really friendly and open. And I think um, the Caporistas were really happy that we made it all the way to Abu Dhabi. And um, with a great feedback. Mm -hmm. the, Very good feedback. A lot of cute Capoeira kids also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really funny. Mm -hmm. It was international. Very international because um, in Dubai and Abu Dhabi, um, I think around 80 or 90 percent uh, who live in those um, cities and countries are from abroad. Mm -hmm. are expats who mm. work there, so it's really international, really interesting mix. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the Capoeira is really uh, new, they're mm -hmm. like six, seven years old. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Everything is in the beginning, so they need still support. If some Capoeira is still thinking to travel, they will love when you come and supporting the Capoeira community there. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have been there in May. Mm -hmm. It's maybe good to say that it is uh, already pretty warm, so it's getting warmer, but this is, I think, you shouldn't go there between our summer months. If you mm -hmm. want to go there, it's good if you, you go during winter or latest April, May. Yeah, we've been finally in Oman and it was the hottest holiday ever. Yeah. It was. 45 in the sun, yeah. it was really good. But Warm. we had a great, great time. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about the prices? Uh, yeah, the price level, I would say you can comp compare the prices with um, Western Europe, Germany, even a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. So yeah. restaurants, accommodation, um, is not that cheap. The only thing which was uh, cheap was um, um, gasoline. We made a road trip and this was the only thing. That was the cheapest part, 25 yeah. cents per liter, so it was really yeah. easy. But the rest, the price standard are pretty high, I would say. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think an interesting question also is how you feel as a woman mm -hmm. in this area. So yeah, maybe. good question, because maybe some, especially women, think, okay, in the Arabic world, um, yeah, how is it? I, I think that in Abu Dhabi and Dubai, it's normal. Like also in Capoeira, you, has, you have other girls and women playing Capoeira on the street. Um, you can move normal. You do not have to cover hair or face. Uh, of course, you don't wear short skirts, but yeah, the rest but is... we saw some girls as well. Yeah, because. they have beach clubs and yeah. everything. Um, maybe it's good to say that if you travel to Oman, um, that's as a, that you do not have to cover your hair and face, but... The Omani women, I would say 95% do so. So as a woman from Western Europe, from Germany, you have to know before that mm. you get noticed from the locals, everyone sees. Mm. And I always had like long, long sleeves and long trousers to respect the local course, yeah. culture. So yeah. it's a little bit more cultural yeah. there. But we always felt safe and welcome, but it's a little bit different. Oman is also the most uh, traditional part it's in yeah. our trip. Yeah. So uh, Dubai, it's really modern and crazy. It feels like a little bit like Las Vegas. Yeah. And the USA and Abu Dhabi is a little bit in between, modern. But also uh, you can feel the tradition. And Oman is, I think, the traditional part, but a beautiful countryside. Beautiful. Really for uh, adventure tripping. Mm -hmm. Awesome, really good. So we will start um, to show our interview. I found the interview partner, which is always a challenge. Just to explain you, it's always in a rush and a bit crazy during the Capoeira Festival. All the Capoeira know how, how there is the chaos and I have to do workshop and classes and then so this interview is a one shot it was a one uh, one try one moment so sorry for the sound and uh, but I think the most important thing is you get information mm -hmm. and idea how is the capoeira so thank you and see for your help let's go let's have fun bye bye bye
So the Kabul in Abu Dhabi is seven, seven years, and you know also like the, Arab, the United Arabian countries. United, like uh, we have Oman, they have Kabul, Bahrain, they have Kabul, Kuwait. I hate the part I'm not sure. And Dubai also. Dubai, Dubai is uh, within the UAE, so okay. it's our country. So okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Qatar, Qatar we have our friend, and they came also. They visited the Assam. They have like a lot of uh, nice players. Uh, yeah, we try to grow something in uh, this area. We try to contact them to bring them to our. So everything is really new and mm -hmm. like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, Angola. Where Angola? Angola. I don't think so. No, Angola. Okay. Maybe we should go. Maybe Kodo Diogo. Maybe in Palestine. Okay. So, yeah, some yeah. of them, yeah. And how come you start Kabwera? Uh, okay. I'll start, I have a cousin who lives in Oman. Mm -hmm. It's a neighbor country. And uh, we're camping and he's, and he's, he's a big dancer. Mm -hmm. So one of the like, his like, show, he started to do Kabwera. He's like, what is this? He asked about it. He's like, oh, it's a martial art. Uh, you know, I left it. I know that uh, from the Tekken uh, player, Tekken, uh, Tekken uh, famous guy. Most people are like, always <laughs> strong. Tekken, you know, it's not the, the game that makes Kabwera yeah, famous. You know, so uh, after that, we, uh, I didn't, uh, I stayed there like, for four years to set a lot of money. I didn't have really anything. After a while, when I came uh, to Abu like I, I found it in the place, I think. And I joined the class. And that's how I started yeah. the class. Yeah, yeah. So, the, it's really new Kapoor. I mean, what I observe in my, in my vision is that also it's like inter the groups are really international because a lot of people coming for work. Oh, yeah, yeah um, so we don't have a lot of locals. We have like three locals maximum. And, uh, so, the locals, this. But it's why it's why it's too expensive or it's they don't mm. you think there's a reason or listen, so you do you know, locals like what people see is like oh I want to just with it a lot of strength to have a good body. Good body shape. And, uh, yeah and couple uh, like classes you will teach a couple, but you know doing it's a nutrition. Mm -hmm. You have to eat this and that, you know? Okay. So if you didn't see anything coming from it as a good body, then it's like uh, I don't okay. want it. That's one of them. Second thing we have like uh, any trend, people just follow me anyway. So uh, last trend was I think uh, what do you call it? Uh, CrossFit. CrossFit. Yeah. yeah, it's also in Europe. It's a big trend. Yeah. So any trend, so the whole market and this trend. We had uh, Montag, everybody was in Montag. So it depends. So they're like more of a trend. Okay. Uh, so it's very hard to bring them to like something and stay for it. Six, seven years, like they said, I think it's all out here. And I'm interested in what you think about the mentality of, of the people of here. You're here, like the positive. How do you think? How, what, what so makes people special? As we make a movie, like we put it on the internet, maybe some people are interested and say, I've never been on this side of the world, I would love to go there. What, what do you think with the people? What's the difference between, like, you've been. France and Brazil, also. Brazil, yeah, so you travel a bit, but you, how do you feel about it? What is when I was traveling to Kabul or something? No, just how the people are here in a good way. What they're making yeah. special. What is the mentality? The, the mentality. Country? It's a small country. So our population is like seven million, and like one million is local. The rest are like expat. And this one million, they're like all together in, uh, 
the social media, they're all together with the walking mob, so it's kind of, you can see some separation, like uh, within uh, the expat and the locals. Mm -hmm. So they have their own thing. I have a friend here, he explained this to me also, he's not local. He's mm -hmm. so I can't hang out with local people, they're all together. They're, they're, they're part of the memorials. Yeah, they see them in their own bars, but not, I'm not saying it's a racist thing or you know, something. But so they have their own just thing. Just the structure of, of the... Yeah. But, they, but in the opposite, I, I feel always... People love to invite you to feel good, no? Yeah, of course, of course that's they really have. Yeah, that's our culture, they have to. Like, yeah, you know, but that's really special, I yeah, think. Yeah, the culture yeah. is really... Um, that, that you want to make us feel so welcome, so good. Mm -hmm. There's yeah, no yeah. doubt you're really welcome. No, of course, they have. They like to, like... Uh, like, <laughs> like what can I say? It's a general hospitality, I think. Yeah, yeah. Very big in yeah, that's, that's, this region is like they love it so much and yeah. And what's a shame if someone go outside and you don't enjoy the yeah. country, so yeah. And what's the difference between Abu Dhabi and Dubai from there's a difference or you think it's similar? Where yeah. some people say like Dubai Particularly it's another energy is more party yeah. and Abu Dhabi is more family. family. Yeah. That's this is right mostly people say. Mm -hmm. It's more quiet here, even like as uh, we talked yesterday, we talked about the weekends here. Mm -hmm. We don't have a lot of people. Okay. All the parties are in Dubai, and uh, you know, it's like a, I can explain it. The globalization in Dubai is small, and mm -hmm. you know, you could find the same sort of thing in different big cities, mm -hmm. you know. And everything is available, so usually people in the weekend to buy and come back. Mm -hmm. If we have nice weather, like in the winter, so everybody is going to the desert. That's, that's a good point because, because when is a good time to come? Because some people may have to come because you said that in the winter is the best time for yeah, the Yeah, I went like the best one in uh, December to like, February. February is the best month. Okay. It's like a high, also it's a high season like for people who know Abu Dhabi. Dhabi. But it's like it starts December, January. December, so the winter starts yeah, from December, kind of end of November, December okay. until March. The weather is very nice. You could go eat uh, like all the same thing over outside. So the people, for for example, from Europe, they can ex escape. No? Oh, because oh. January, February is a really bad time. Germany and France are really cold. Yeah, so yeah. it's good to escape, no? Yeah, they love it here. So you can go out and they but have a lot of festivals also. Not just compare like from the cultural. Every weekend they have uh, so they have the cultural uh, mm -hmm. festivals. Mm -hmm. And they have uh, events every weekend, so it's busy. The mm -hmm. whole uh, Abu Dhabi and Dubai are busy in the winter. And the good thing is, like Abu Dhabi and Dubai, it's just one hour. It's yeah, it's one hour. It's yeah, really, yeah, really yeah. easy to, to do it. But there's also the, the summer is too hot, no? There's yeah, nothing. Summer. If somebody think about like August or July, it's not. It's, uh, we live in an air conditioned country. So yeah. everything is yeah. cold. So it's like in a car. Yeah. The transportation now is getting better, better in Dubai. Like, I think. Uh, you know, they, in July they will introduce the flying taxi, so yeah, okay. Yeah, so we have everything yeah, in transportation. Okay. So you need air conditioning the whole way, and uh, you could like what I recommend you do is like come to Abu Dhabi, since it's more relaxing, and when you want to party, you just go to Dubai and come back one hour, so you can do it for yeah, day. You, you can also yeah, just for a weekend. Have fun. Weekend and have fun and uh, Dubai. If you don't want to impact with the lot of uh, rush hours and stuff. And go in the middle of the week, it's better. Okay, okay. So that's what I usually have. And the prices, I think, folks, because the Moscow Brewsters are not that, yeah. that rich. <laughs> but uh, I feel the price depends on the place. Sometimes it's like. It's, it's like uh, yeah, I'm not saying you, you could find. You can yeah, find. If you go, you could find. Yeah, with the Brewsters, you shop. Oh, yesterday we've been on the. It was perfect. The restaurant. But that's not enough. It was so good. <laughs> and scary. the price was not that high. So no, the food. Is, the food is challenging, like you have all kind of uh, food. Housing it depends on the season. That's uh, yeah, about a couple of years. Yeah, where you find people here. That's, that's a good thing. You come a couple of years, you find the cheapest places with good food. You can find sleeping places. You know where the best part is. So I think that you have also always a good guide to the couple of years. Of course, of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> everything, a tour guide, everything. As a couple of years, they do everything. Yeah. Okay, just to find us about the couple of years. It's so young, so. How many Kapolistas will train Kapoela in Abu Dhabi just to have idea for the Kapolistas? Uh, now around like uh, in Abu Dhabi 15 max maybe. Yeah, and in, in Dubai? Dubai. Dubai. 
uh, kind of the same price, but uh, they're not in one class. So yeah. if they gather, they bring the electronic payment. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so Capoeira says if you want to support the Capoeira community, uh, 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 sorry, Capoeira community here, it's still really, really fragile and new and needs support if there's someone who wants Capoeiras. Let's go to Abu Dhabi, let's go to Dubai. They love, they're so, so awesome, they're so friendly, really good friends. And help to build up here the Capoeira scene. Totally. And you guys have worked here many times. Great. This is your house, your city, you come, enjoy, come. Even, it's like, mostly all the airplane, they stop by Abu Dhabi and Dubai. Like, for yes, the, uh, the flights are not from, from general that expensive. But you yeah. said it's an opposite, yeah, it's expensive. Office. Yeah, it's much easier to come here. It's from Jerry, it was a six hour direct flight, not yeah. so, but it was awesome. Yeah. Okay, Tupano. Uh, thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you.